Hey Gemini, happy birthday Geminis, happy birth season. It is the start of Gemini season. So you are the first sign that I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing the signs in the zodiac order, but you will be the first one since it's your birth season. And then afterwards it will be Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and so forth, so forth. Don't mind my hands, y'all. I just did my lashes and I have like a bunch of lash glue on my hands. So don't mind that. I actually recorded a video of me doing um, these cluster lashes. I will be uploading soon. I am going to do a love reading for you guys, but I did a poll on the YouTube community tab of what I'm going to upload next. So hold on, you guys. Oh, wow. It's not a tie, but literally one point off. So individual signs love reading one with 33%. Their next actions towards you for May is right behind it at 32%. Then we have... um collective singles love reading for at 16 percent their karma for hurting you at 15 percent and then we have a pick a card all about your future boo thing at five percent and it has 95 votes in total on the poll so make sure you guys are subscribed because i do let y'all choose the readings that i'll do next um and in this case y'all want the individual love reading so i'm gonna start on that if you'd like to book your personal reading you can do so through the link in my description box the reading that i'm gonna do for you guys is um is a service that's already on my site it's called let's chat about love and in parentheses it's involved so i have two different ones involved and separated on the site the separated readings i did do it for all the signs as well individual signs but head over to the community no not the community the live tab so on my channel when you click on my channel if i'm not mistaken it's um video shorts and then live click on the live and then just you know search for your sign those are the separated version, but this here is going to be the involved version. So if you'd like to book your own personal reading, this here is um, Let's Chat About Love Involved. Use May at checkout, M-A-Y, for 15% off your readings. That code will be available for the month of May, so definitely make sure you check that out. And I'm just going to dive right into your reading, Gemini. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So my Geminis, who is their love interest? Who is the person that's on their mind? Who is this person that's on their mind? Who is this person that they've been thinking about or that they've been desiring? Let's see. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody who's a business owner or a, a businessman, a businesswoman, someone who's all about their paper. Even if they aren't a business owner, this is someone who is all about the sh money. This is someone who makes nothing out of something like... This is the type of person, it don't matter if they down bad on they ass broke, they're going to find a way to pay their bills. They're going to find a way to take care of the people around them. They're going to find a way to make some type of income. This person is a go-getter, definitely. They could have earth sign placements, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but this person is definitely a go-getter. And I see they're not stingy. This is someone who doesn't mind providing for the people around them. This is someone who doesn't mind sharing their money or sharing the fruits of their labor with the people around them. Once again, heavy earth sign energy here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I also see this is someone who's very lucky. Like they can be broke today and by tomorrow they got like 5,000 in their bank account. Like this is someone who's very lucky when it comes to money. Not only are they very ambitious, they're very lucky as well. Okay. Okay. Well, give me a little backstory of this love connection. Tell me about this love connection. Let's get a little backstory. Let's get a little backstory. We have the moon card, Cancer, Pisces, energy, a lot of lies, a lot of a lot of hidden something. I see you guys are trying to make things work after a period of lies, deception, illusions, facades. You guys are trying to make things right and trying to make things work after a period of just lies. I don't know who was lying. It could be you. It could be them. It could be the damn both of y'all, truthfully. But it's just a period of just bare lies, bare deception. Hmm. Tell me more. It's like y'all finally reaching the calm after the storm, I guess you can say. You have the page of wands here in reverse. My thing is, I don't really see y'all talking about it, though. It's like when you and this person make up, y'all just ignore what happened in the past. It's like y'all just boom, make up. 
Instead of talking things through, seeing what went wrong, what was the lies, why did the person lie, this, this, and that. Like, instead of trying to get clarity, it's like, I don't know, instead of trying to get clarity, it's like you guys just act like nothing ever happened and then just try and move forward, which that's why you guys are stuck in this cycle of making up to breaking up or stuck in this cycle of there always being issues. It's because y'all not talking about the issues. Y'all just pushing forward like nothing ever happened whole time holding grudges and being angry towards each other holding resentment and whatnot hmm. i don't like that for y'all all right well let's get into your energy regarding this person and the love connection you two share so the person that's on my gemini's mind the person that is on my gemini's mind what is their energy i mean what is whoa what is my gemini's energy towards this person the person that's on my Gemini mind, what is my Gemini viewers, my Gemini sun, moon, rising, Venus, what is their energy and feelings towards this person and the connection they share? What is it? What is it? You want to provide for this person. I feel like you want to provide for them the way they provide for you. You want to be there for them the way they're there for you. It's like you want to become a better person to make this connection work. I feel like this person has given you unconditional love and you never really realized it for what it is. And I see you wanting to work on things with this person. I see you wanting to become a better person for them. Like some of y'all are like ready to become wifey or husband material to ensure that, you know, this person doesn't walk away from you. But with the moon card, it could have been you that was, you know, lying. It could have been you. Clarification on the moon card. We got the Emperor, Aries, Source Energy, the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer Energy. I see you're trying to ignore all the lies. The lies that they've told you, the lies that you told them. I see you're trying to ignore all the negativity and all the deception within this connection in hopes that it'll prevent you guys arguing or fighting. It's like you're trying to prevent drama with this person by ignoring the red flags or ignoring the lies that that you guys experience with one another. Hmm. What else is my Gemini's energy towards their love interest in the love connection they share? Huh? Unawakened. Forgiveness. It looks like you're wanting forgiveness. Now, flip the roles how it needs to be flipped, you guys. Like, this could be your person's energy coming into your energy. So just flip it how it needs to be flipped. There's no need to come in my comments. It's the opposite. You did this wrong and don't be coming at me. Flip it how it needs to be flipped. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But it's looking like you're the one that sort of, you know, did wrong within this connection. And you want forgiveness from your love interest. You want to better things with them. You want to make things work. You want to make things right with them. We have the tribe card here. I feel like you're finally realizing once again how genuine this person was with you. It's like you're beginning to realize that they're your family or they wanted to start a family with you. You're beginning to realize that you can trust this person the same way you would be able to trust your blood family members, if that makes sense. But I see you wanting their forgiveness. I see you wanting to make things right with this person. It's like you're realizing you didn't give them the love that they deserved. The trust, the love, the effort, the affection. Wow, what's the mutual energy between them two? My Gemini's and their love interest. Ooh, 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 whoa, way too many cards here. What is the mutual energy between these two? We have the world card. Temperance. The both of you want to make this work. And not only that, the both of you have each other on a pedestal. Like the both of you literally see the best in one another. Sagittarius energy here. We even have the Ten of Cups, you guys. The mutual energy is you two wanting to freaking ride off into the sunset together. Like that's literally the mutual energy between you two. You guys want to settle down. Y'all want to start a family. Y'all want to move in together. Y'all want to own a home together. Y'all want to own businesses together for some of y'all. Like I just see you guys want to start a life together and run off into the sunset. Y'all want a fairy tale ending with one another. Y'all don't want to play no games. Y'all want to, to make things right and to keep it pushing with each other. You guys want to balance things out, make things better. You guys want peace in the connection as well. I see you guys really want peace and, and tranquility within this connection. I feel like 
it's been so much, I don't want to say toxicity, but I feel like it's just been so much disagreements and arguments and you guys being at odds that it's come to a point. It's like all you guys want is just peace and happiness with one another. My Gemini's love interest, the person that's on their mind, what is their energy towards my Gemini's and the connection they share? What is their energy? They want to smooth things over. We got that six of swords. They feel like you're being uh, distant. They feel like you're being distant. They're feeling like you're lying to them as well. So it looks like they got some trust issues with you. They're feeling like you're being distant with them. If you tend to like go away for a vacation, I mean, not for a vacation, for work. Like, let's say you travel far for work or you always have to, you know, um, go on some type of business trip for work. Or let's say you're going on a vacation soon without this person. They don't really trust you. Whenever you guys are apart, even if it isn't a vacation, even if it isn't a business trip, even if it isn't, you know, you guys being hours apart from one another. It could be you're at your house and they're at their house. They don't trust you when you guys are apart because they can't watch what you're doing. They can't see what you're doing. They can't see who you're with. This person has major trust issues when it comes to you being by yourself or not necessarily you being by yourself, but you being without them. We have bound here. So this person feels bounded to you. They feel stuck on you. We have reinvention in reverse. And then we have healing. This person, they don't want to move on from you, honestly. This is the type of person that they want. They want to heal this connection. They want to move forward with you. They feel like they can't let you go. With this bound card, they don't know what it is about you, but they feel like they cannot shake you. They cannot let you go. They cannot forget about you. Like, they feel like, like you guys are bounded to one another. You guys are tied to one another. They could be feeling like you guys have soul ties. And they're like, I'd rather heal this connection and make things work than move on. I don't want to move on. That's how this person is feeling. The person that's on your mind, they do not want to move on at all. Mm. This is so cute. Okay. Let's get into um, your next action towards you for the month of May, for the rest of May. What is this person's uh, next action towards my viewers for the rest of May? I also have a service on my site, you guys. Um, their next actions for whatever month of your choice. It could be May, June, July, August, whichever month of your choice. If you'd like to book your own personal reading of your love interest next action towards you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords here. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. I see them putting in effort. They feel like they can't trust you. That's the funny part. They feel like they can't trust you for shit. They feel like they cannot trust you but they don't want to let this go. They still have fight left in them to make this relationship work. They still have fight left in them. They still have determination in them. Like they are, they do not want to let you go. They want to put in as much effort as they could. They want to put up a fight to prevent this from ending. Like they do not want to let you go. I feel like this person would do absolutely anything to keep you in their life. Anything. This person will literally do absolutely anything to keep you in their life. Like this person, I feel like they're like the 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 prime example of like a ride or die. Like they would do absolutely anything for you. Wow. So I'm going to go in with the Mass Filling Oracle COVID-19 edition. This is the deck that I created and it's currently on sale on my site for $20, you guys. So definitely make sure you check that out. It's currently on sale. Click the link in my bio to check out the products I have or to book any services, candle services or readings. So let's see, what is it that this person wants to tell my Geminis? This is a pretty good reading, Gemini. I like this for you. What is it that this person wants to tell my Geminis? We have, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So they're feeling like they were a distraction from your pain in some way. Then they want to tell you, I thought you were using me. They feel like you're using them currently. I don't feel like that's past tense. I feel like this is current. They feel like you're using them for the things that they could provide, the love that they could provide. And then I feel you even though we're apart. So even when you guys are distant from one another, even when you guys reach the point of breaking up and you guys are distant, they feel you. They feel your energy. They feel in tune with you. I'm telling you, this person, they feel like they have some type of soul tie to you or with you. But this is the end of the reading, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It was pretty straight to the point. It was pretty fast because, yeah, I can see this person. They're not playing about you. They're not playing about you. They will do absolutely anything to 
to keep you in their life or to make things right with you. They will do absolutely anything. So this reading was straight to the point. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, you guys. Make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already. Please and thank you. I appreciate all the support, the donations, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I'm going to end this reading off. Have a great day, great night, whenever you see this, you guys. Bye.